Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in part six of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Photoshop Elements. In this session, we want to look at sort of an advanced tool, but it's a tool well worth getting to know, especially if you want to do some serious photo editing. Camera Raw is launched by going under the File menu at the top of the screen and selecting Open in Camera Raw. Now, the very first time you try to open Camera Raw, it's going to offer to download Camera Raw for you. It's a separate download, but it's a plug into the program, which means that it functions as part of the program. And if I select Open in Camera Raw, I can open a raw image. Now, raw images are generally designated with the suffix CR, CR2, or DNG for digital negative and I'll select it here and open it. Generally, when you're editing photos in Photoshop Elements, you're working with a JPEG, and JPEGs come from your camera or your phone already complete. They've already been processed, they've already been compressed, they're given to you, and whatever changes you make to it, whatever adjustments you make, you're actually kind of undoing what the camera already did. In the case of RAW, on the other hand, you're working with photo information that is raw. It's directly from the camera. That's why it's called a DNG. That stands for a digital negative, which means it's like the negative in a traditional camera. It's just the information. Nothing else has been done to it. Now, what does that mean? That means that any changes we make to it will not affect the original data. Okay, so any changes we make are not permanent to the picture until we solidify the picture or until we save the picture in a more traditional photo format. Let me show you what I mean. Over here on the right, we can make a couple of adjustments to the picture. I have it set to auto settings right now. I can turn off auto settings. I can make adjustments to the temperature, to the tint, and all of the traditional changes, exposure, contrast, highlights, and even sharpen it if I'd like. But these changes are not being permanently made to the picture. If I were to close the picture right now, when I reopened it, these changes would show, but the original digital negative has been left untouched. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going over here to the top right and I'm selecting the crop tool and I'm just going to crop the picture. We'll save it and close it by clicking done in the lower right hand corner. And if I go back and reopen that photo by going to the file menu and again opening camera raw and reopen that picture, you notice that it's cropped, but if I go back to that crop tool, I can click the reset button here in the upper right hand corner of that panel. And when I click that, it undoes the crop and we're back to the original picture. Likewise, I can go back to my adjustments panel and I can undo any adjustments. I'm not changing the original data, but I'm only changing adjustments to it. So I can open and close this as many times as I'd like, and I'm not changing the original digital negative that is providing the information here for Camera Raw. And I'm going to just click the Auto button. That'll make an auto adjustment to the picture. And then rather than clicking Done, I'm going down to the bottom of this panel and clicking Open. That will open it in the editor here in the traditional advanced editor. And here I can continue to make adjustments to the picture. I can go to the enhance menu and I can make some auto adjustments to color and contrast and levels. But even these adjustments are not permanent to the picture yet. It's still in the CR2 format. It only becomes permanent when I do a save as and save the photo in a more traditional photo format like a PSD file or a JPEG. And now if I want to output that JPEG, I can open it up here and I'm able to output and print this. You can't output a camera raw file in its raw format. So camera raw, a number of advantages to it, but above all, it's the raw photo information. It's been untouched, uncompressed, and you can manipulate it as much as you'd like without affecting the original digital data. Now in part seven, if you come back, we'll get back into more traditional photo editing with some of the more traditional tools here in the program. Then in part eight, we'll come back and show you how to output your finished product. And that's part of our eight part basic training for Adobe Photoshop Elements.